Buongiorno, it's Alyssa from RomeWise, your go-to guide to Rome. And today we are going to talk about visiting Rome in October. So the first thing I wanna say is thank you for watching and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, now about visiting Rome in October, there are a few things you need to know. The weather, what to pack, what to wear, things you can eat, things to do, and what to expect. So here we go. So the first half of October is actually pretty summery. As you can see, I'm wearing a short-sleeved shirt. It's warmer than you think. During the day, it can get up to the high 20s, even low 30s, which means high 70s, low 80s, so it's hot. Uh, you wanna be comfortable, so make sure that you wear cotton clothes, something like long cotton pants. I would bring at least one pair of open-toed shoes as long as they're comfortable shoes. Always remember comfortable shoes. And one pair of closed-toed shoes as well. So in the evenings, it cools down and it gets really comfortable. It's still nice to walk around outside. You can eat outside. You just may want a, a cardigan or a light jacket and always a scarf. It's definitely uh, the case to always bring a scarf to Rome for any season, but in October, it's not only fashionable, it's useful, especially in the evening. So bring that scarf. A backpack, which just makes it easy for you to pop in, you know, your different layers, a cardigan, a scarf, a shell, whatever. Um, I would consider a travel umbrella. We have had a little bit of rainy days so far this October. It's not as rainy as say November, but it can rain, so prepare for that. See guys, we've got people here and sleeveless attire, we have some rain jackets, have a little bit of mixed dress because it's actually pretty hot in October. It's hotter than you think. So you got a layer, you have to be flexible in your dress. It's a good idea to bring light clothing but layer it because you don't want to be overheated from trying to dress for quote unquote you know, really chilly fall weather, which you're just not gonna get. Okay, now let's talk about the foods that are in season in October. Yes, I am wearing short sleeves. It's mid-October, it's pretty warm. So we are in the middle of October and we're gonna take a walk in my local market over here. It's called Mercato Latino. It's a really local market. If you really wanna get off the beaten path, come check out this market. So let's go take a look and see what fruits and vegetables are in season in Rome in October. Here we go. Yeah, artichokes are just starting, but you see they're from Puglia. They're not from Rome yet. This is not the season. But I love these vanilla persimmons. You can bite right into them. Yum! Oh, and pomegranates and prickly pears. Yes. These nice grapes are in season. Chestnuts coming into season. This is my vendor over here. Just love them. It's quiet in the market now because it is after one o'clock and the market is about to close. You gotta get here early to get all the good stuff um, and it's much more crowded earlier. So I decided to come later so I could show you around. So just leaving my market and let's see. So some other things that are in season that we're not gonna see in the market, you'll just see them at restaurants. Fungi porcini, porcini mushrooms, delicious, grilled, love that, and white truffles. You can only get white truffles between October and December. That's it, it's a short season. They're very delicate, you can only eat them raw. They are food of the gods as far as I'm concerned, but they're expensive. So you should find them on the menu for about 30 euros and up. Okay, next thing to talk about is what to expect. The second thing that surprises people about Rome in October is it is peak season. I know, it seems crazy. Why is October peak season? You thought this is a good time to come to Rome, right? Because you figure, well, everybody is off their summer vacation, the kids are gone. Guess what? Everybody has the same idea as you. So this is peak travel season in Rome. You need to plan ahead. Everything is booked solid. If you wanna visit the Borghese Gallery, if you wanna visit the Vatican Museums, you wanna visit the Colosseum at night. These are things you've got to book ahead most of the year, but in October, don't think it's low season, you can just show up. Okay, that's really important. So guys, what have I been telling you about the crowds in October? It's crazy. So let's take a look at Piazza Navona. Here we go. So one of the things you can do in October to make your visit enjoyable and stress-free is to plan ahead, as I said. And one of the things you can do to plan ahead is to book where you want to eat. It's 
like any big city that has some quality restaurants and a lot of mediocre restaurants and some bad ones. The good ones are always gonna be fully booked. So book ahead. I get this message all the time from people. Oh, I went there, but I didn't realize you had to book and it was fully booked and so we just went down the street and had some horrible pizza. Just plan ahead. It's not that complicated and you'll have a great time. If you're not a planner and you don't wanna be locked in, that's fine too. You will always find something to eat, but just so you know, the good places, they get booked up. So take that with a grain of salt. And I have written the book on what to do in Rome in October. So check the link below and you can download my ebook on Rome in October. And you can also visit the page on Rome Wise all about Rome in October. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. And thanks a lot for watching and I will see you at the next video. Ciao for now.